At New Spring, one of our family values is trusting God's promises. And in Matthew 16, verse 18, Jesus promised to build his church and that even the gates of hell would not be able to overpower it. So on March 15th, out of an abundance of caution and love for our neighbors, we closed our buildings. We were believing in God to come through on his promise. Even though the buildings were closed, we knew God was still moving. He was moving in the life of Kelly Talley, who after years of struggling with alcoholism, went public with her faith and was baptized by her husband Andre in a swimming pool. He was working in the life of Justin Williamson, who was also baptized in a swimming pool by his mentoring group leader, Dave Baker. Both Dylan Ballou and Clay Smith were baptized in a swimming pool as well by their Fuse group leader, Ryan Davis. God was working in the heart of Bear Morris, who prayed with his parents to receive Jesus. That's Jesus said to my heart. <gasps> Are you excited? Yeah! <laughs> he moved in the lives of Camden and Karis Rushing, who gave their life to Christ at home. And with Nathaniel Pack, who said getting saved was the best day ever. Even though we weren't having physical services, the body of Christ was still out in the community serving. When a tornado ripped through our upstate, the church rallied together to help clean the damage and begin rebuilding. When there was a need for meal delivery drivers, the church stepped in and delivered hundreds of meals to people who otherwise would have gone hungry. When the need for donated blood rose drastically, our campuses turned into blood donation centers. Across the entire state, the church stepped up again in a big way. Even though we were socially distant, God's healing presence was still being felt. It was being felt in Northeast Columbia, where Marquise Thomas led neighborhood prayer walks over homes and over anyone in their car that stopped by. It was on those same streets that neighborhood fuse happened. And over the past few weeks, we've seen multiple students respond to salvation. Whether our buildings are opened or closed, whether we're meeting in buildings or in homes, God is still in control. Jesus is still building his church and his Holy Spirit is still moving.